March is upon us, my friend, and bringing with it a whole slew of really exciting games. I've put together a list of 10 cozy games that I'm really looking forward to, and I hope that you'll see a few games to add to your list as well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brock. Thank you so much for being here. Now without further ado, let's dive into 10 cozy games coming in March of 2024. Monster Couch, the developers who created the digital version of the popular board game Wingspan, are bringing us Quilts and Cats of Calico, a digital adaptation of a board game called Calico. Shockingly, despite the fact that I've played many, many board games, I haven't heard of this one before. Quilts and Cats of Calico is a tile-placing puzzle game where your goal is to make a cozy quilt. During the game, your choices will attract cute cats who will wander around the game board, run and play, sometimes even lay on your quilt to nap and they can be interacted with by petting them or shooing them away if they're blocking your view. You can play solo versus AI opponents of variable difficulty, competitively online, or play through the story mode. If you're a fan of the board game source material, the developers promise new rule variations and new mechanics in the campaign mode to offer a fresh take on the game. I love board games, so I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Quilts and Cats of Calico comes to PC, Mac, and Nintendo Switch on March 5th. Based on the popular books by Finnish writer and artist Tove Jensen, Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley is a beautiful, story-rich musical game in which you help the titular Snufkin restore the valley after a series of parks have disrupted the landscape and the harmony of nature. The game promises to combine open-world exploration with puzzles, stealth, and music to create an experience that is, and this is a direct quote from the game website, quintessentially Nordic. Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley will feature a cast of whimsical yet complex characters for you to interact with on your journey through the storybook world, all set to music by Icelandic post-rock band Sigur Rós. The art style is really selling this one for me. I'm not terribly familiar with the Moomins, but I'm really looking forward to giving this game a try. You can play Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley on March 7th on PC, Mac, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, as well as Nintendo Switch. A solo development project by Friedemann, Summerhouse is, in his words, a love letter to the feeling of a childhood summer holiday with long, lazy afternoons and no rules or responsibilities. There is no win or lose in Summerhouse. It is a game entirely focused on relaxing, being creative, and building tiny, beautiful, and lived-in houses in three different regions, the sea, the city, or the mountains. There are secrets to find as you build, but really there are no rules and the only restriction is your imagination. Watching the little bits of trailers and gameplay that I've seen made me so excited to simply kick back and build something lovely. This one seems really, really special. You can play Summer House on March 8th on PC and Mac. Passing by A Tailwind Journey sees you taking on the role of Curly, a young balloonist who must deliver a mysterious letter. You will navigate this 2D puzzle platformer while managing survival game elements like hunger and thirst as you journey from floating island to floating island. The world of passing by is beset by a never-ceasing west wind, and because the wind is always moving in one direction, once you leave an island, you leave it for good. So you should be sure that you've gotten everything you need before deciding to depart. You'll be free to explore at your own pace, customize your balloon, and meet a quirky cast of islanders and fellow adventurers as you solve puzzles and unravel ancient mysteries. I think passing by looks really unique, and I'm curious to see how the puzzle platformer and survival elements blend, or if they just feel tacked onto one another. You can check out Passing By A Tailwind Journey on March 12th on PC and Nintendo Switch. I'm excited for all of the games on this list, but Lightyear Frontier is one of the top. I played the demo during Steam Next Fest this year and thought it was amazing. Shameless plug, you can check out my full reaction to the demo in the video on the card in the upper right hand corner if you're interested. Lightyear Frontier is an open world game that combines elements of exploration, farming, and crafting. You crash land on an alien world along with your versatile and trusty mech suit and start building your new home. You can play solo or cooperative with up to three of your friends as you farm, build, and explore the untamed wilderness while learning what happened to those who once lived here. It is a stunningly pretty game that plays like a survival crafting game but without combat or the need to focus on resource management like hunger or thirst bars. If games like Enshrouded or Valheim or any number of other notable titles in the survival genre have seemed appealing but intimidating, then this would be a great option for you. Light Your Frontier comes to PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S on March 19th. Nintendo is bringing us another title this month, and this time it's the first ever game to feature Princess Peach as the main protagonist. In Princess Peach Showtime, the Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch have taken over a theater just as Peach was about to see a show. 
With the help of the theater guardian Stella and her magic ribbon, Peach has to save the show and the performers by transforming into various roles like sword fighter, ninja, or detective Peach, and use unique powers to save the day. Nintendo has turned out a bunch of really great games lately, but this one in particular has me interested. That's probably in large part because it's Peach and she finally gets her own game and I adore her, but I'm really excited to check this one out, so maybe it's time to feature a Nintendo game here on the channel. You can play Princess Peach Showtime on March 22nd on Nintendo Switch. Cozy Room Decorator is another game along the same lines as Summer House, where the goal is to simply be creative and make something you like. You will be presented with two walls and a floor, and given a full catalog of furnishings to make the room of your dreams. There's no story, quests, or currency in this game, and you'll have access to the full library of thousands of items from the start, so all you have to do is decorate to your heart's content. Cozy Room Decorator will feature an integrated online gallery where you can share your creations or view others, and the decorating has no collision restrictions, so you'll be able to merge items together however you like to make something completely new. If you're a fan of interior decorating and have always wanted to explore the world of design, but didn't want to have to learn complex systems for room design, then this game is absolutely the one for you. Cozy Room Decorator is coming to PC and Mac on March 22nd. Planet Zoo initially released back in 2019 for PC and is now coming to consoles. I'm actually pretty surprised that I've never played Planet Zoo before because it's by the developers behind Zoo Tycoon, which genuinely defined my childhood and was one of the games that really sparked my love of cozy gaming. In Planet Zoo, you, unsurprisingly, build and manage a zoo. You're given an array of tools to construct, customize, and manage your dream zoo full of a vast assortment of animal species. I've always been impressed by the depth of customization that this game offers, and the developers promise to bring it to consoles with intuitive controls so that you can dive in and let your imagination, excuse the pun, run wild. There are different editions available that offer you various extra content, including an ultimate edition that includes a season pass. You can't speak to how worth it that is, but I do know that Planet Zoo is widely loved, and I think that this might be my sign to finally give it a go. You can pick up Planet Zoo on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S on March 26th. Piecing It Together is a puzzle game in the truest sense of the word. In Piecing It Together, you will build 3D jigsaw puzzles of dioramas brought to life by various artists. In true cozy fashion, there are no timers or scores to worry about, you just simply put the puzzle together at your own pace. Each puzzle offers four difficulty levels, so you can do a quick puzzle with only 20 pieces, or you can challenge yourself and take more time with up to 200 pieces. This strikes me as a great game to play while listening to an audiobook, watching some TV, or <clears throat> having your favorite YouTuber on in the background? I don't know, just a thought. If you're a fan of sitting down to a jigsaw puzzle, then this will almost certainly be a great game for you. You can play Piecing It Together on March 27th on PC. Oh my goodness, am I happy to be ending on this game. Distant Bloom is a management and exploration game with puzzle elements, farming, crafting, and more. You take on the role of a very cute alien. Along with your crew, you've been tasked with the vital mission of establishing a new home for your species, but the planet where you landed is much different than the one you saw through your telescope before setting out. What was a verdant world is desolate and dying. You'll use plants and your wits to bring life back to the world, gather your scattered crew, and unravel the mystery of what happened here. I cannot wait. I played the demo for Distant Bloom all the way back in June of last year, and I fell head over heels in love with it. If you want to watch my demo playthrough, I'll put a card in the upper right hand corner for you. I was blown away by how good it was and immediately put it on my wish list. And now after some brief, scary moments where I thought it was maybe never going to get finished, the time has come to finally play the full game. I am beyond excited for this one. For the first time ever, while doing one of these lists, I can give you my recommendation based on my experience with the demo. Distant Bloom is available on March 27th on PC, and I'll definitely be featuring it here on the channel. And there you have it, a full 10 cozy games coming out this month. Let me know which one you're most excited for down in the comments, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for even more cozy game content. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you back here on the channel really soon. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.